All right. We've got another awesome video here. I should say I have got another awesome video here of a beautiful 1986 Mercedes-Benz 420 SEL for sale. Photographed here in my front yard in the summer of 2019. I have got uh, quite a few of these actually. I've got five all together in my collection. Two of them are SECs and three of them are SELs. And so I'm going to sell my SELs and um, try to scale down my collection a little bit. And this is hard to believe, but this is probably my favorite uh, W126 body style I've ever owned. Not because it's the most perfect, it's because I've spent the most time in it, i put the most miles on it, and I've done the most repairs to it, so I know it the best. And I really think this car is going to make somebody very, very happy. It's not a perfect car, but it's a very, very good car. And a lot of people love these cars, but they don't like repairing them because they're expensive. And so that's one of the unique things about this particular uh, 86 Mercedes that uh, separates this one from the rest of the herd from the cars I've owned in the past. I bought this car with the intention uh, of fixing all of the little things that I could to make it a really, really good road car and reliable and to get me down the road with ease and beauty. And that's what this car has done for me. So I'll see if I can go over everything. I, I'm not going to remember everything. I'll put it in print. Please go to my website, okay? Supersportmotors.com. Supersportmotors.com. My phone number is 315-853-1967. My name is Mike Stanton. And if you go on YouTube, I, get you, I bet you I have 70 videos there on cars I've sold over the last 15 years or so. And they're all on YouTube. If they're sold, it'll say sold in the front line of the uh, video. So, you probably can tell right off the bat, the windows are black. I did that. I did a 30% tint professional, and it's probably my favorite thing in the car. Although it looks black, you can see out of it easily, and people really can't see you that easy. So it's really, really nice. It's just a nice, pleasant tint, and I've got it on the top of the windshield there. Now, when I bought the car, it had this cool, um, what do you call it, wind visor, and I hated it. But then I grew to love it, <laughs> because you can go down the road with the um, weather deteriorating, nice sounding door. You can go down the road with the weather deteriorating, rain that be or snow, and uh, open that thing about halfway and nothing comes in. So it's really pretty cool. You know, I always display these things with the uh, lights on, so let me uh, put the lights on for you. So it is silver astral, metallic, with blue interior. That buzzing is just because I put the lights on. Seats and everything is in fantastic shape. It's a non-smoker. You're not going to get any weird smells or anything when you get the car. The leather is all in very, very good shape, as well as the back panel and the headliner. It's got a moonroof. Works good. Heat and AC work good. There's a few things that don't work on it. I gotta see if I can remember here now. Cruise control is not working. Clock's not working, which is uh, fairly normal for this. It's actually not that hard to fix the clocks on these. It does have two cracks in the dash. And uh, I'm trying to think what else. Well, not much, but uh, nothing else is really wrong with the car. If it is, I'll put it in my listing, but as you can imagine, I put, in last year, I put, I think, 8,000 miles in this car. I drive it everywhere. I go all over the place. My last trip was to Canada. Went up to Montreal, which is a four-hour drive for me. And it ran perfect. Now, the car was originally from Helena, Helena, yeah, Helena, Montana. And it shows that on the Carfax report. Those little stickers are there because it's a... Uh, a police sticker. I had it in a parade a while ago. So they look kind of cool. I left them. I apologize for my house in the background, but there it is. Now, the paint on this car is phenomenal. Honestly, it's just beautiful. No scratches, no dents, nothing. The undercarriage is really, really good shape. There's a little bit of surface thrust on the exhaust system. Nothing wrong with that. Exhaust system is good. Rims are good. Tires are new. And what I did in the tires are, I've always hated 
the size of the tires that came on these things, so I went up one size to a 215 as opposed to a 205. So the tire size is 215, 65, R15, and they are winter tires. And the truth is, I left them on because they drive so beautiful, and they're so smooth, and they're so beautiful and attractive. It's the first time ever I'm leaving snow tires in the car based on just the beauty of the tire and how it rides. I don't know if you can tell, but the rims are beautiful. I usually do about 150 photos, so if you're really serious, get on there and look at every photo, okay? So going back to the Carfax report, 